Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Sincerely It's Stephanie, the place where I share some of the things that make me happy and ignite my creativity. Today is a Fashion Friday and I will be sharing a 2022 Shein Fashion Haul. All of the items are new summer items. They have kind of a resort vacation-esque feel. Um, I'm so ready for vacation. I'm super excited about it. Um, but the items that I got from Shein are these glasses, these great cat eye glasses. I think they're just fashion glasses um, and they are $4.50 in the color red, but I'm just, these are giving me all the feels. I got them in every color. Um, yeah. Um, and then this blouse that I have on is currently on sale for $10.99. It was $14 on the Shein website. Comes in sizes 0XL to 4XL. I got a 1XL because it is cropped, so I wanted to give a little extra room um, in the top. And again, it is 100% polyester. Um, it is feeling a little bit warm to me, and it's probably because it's got a longer, like, three-quarter length sleeve, and it is off the shoulder um, and you might hear some little crunching because right now I did um, get a microphone um, so I'm not quite used to that and dealing with the movement um, but I did notice I did a trial run and it is a whole lot clearer so thank you to those that left comments about my audio so I am trying to improve that I'm trying to make steps toward towards improving that. Um, I do have some new camera equipment that has a microphone and it will be coming. So in the next few weeks, um, I will be able to use that. But until then, I purchased this um, microphone to get me by. And the top and the glasses I have paired with this handkerchief hem skirt, $16, 100% cotton. And I got it in my size 0XL. That's my regular size. It does come in a 0XL to 4XL. And I just love it. It is super flowy. Um, I think this would look excellent with just a cropped tee or a cropped tank. Um, underneath this, I have on a bathing suit top. And it looks just, it looks cute with this bathing suit top. I I don't know, I would almost wear this around in the summer, maybe not to the local Walmart, or maybe I've seen people in there in their swimwear, I don't know. Um, but it really looks like just a crop top as, as opposed to a bathing suit top. But that is not part of this haul. Um, I've had it for a, a little over a month, a couple months, I'm not sure, and I think they are sold out of this particular item. But the Shein items I have are the glasses the crop top and this cute flowy skirt and you're going to see i pairing things with my wonderful sun hats i have a lot of these love them talk about this dress i hope that it's coming off on camera as beautiful as i think it is i think it's very it's very flowy at the bottom very flowy here very sexy to me something very sexy about it it is a maxi dress and i have it paired with a pair of wedges and i'm only five feet tall and so it is just kind of skimming the floor um i won't need to hem it um if it's not that long but it is absolutely gorgeous this gorgeous um dusty rose print with this green on this black background i just absolutely love it um i don't know what else to say um it is a backless so you can see the back comes down pretty far and we have the ruffle in the back there's no elastic around here because it does have a zipper closure up the side here um my only complaint or insecurity really right now is that I feel this kind of comes down very low. Now, right now I'm not wearing anything. I'm not wearing a bra. I'm not wearing any pasties or anything because 
it of course has this little flounce ruffle right on the front, but I do feel kind of exposed right here and underneath the arms. And, you know, I've pulled it up as far as I can. And the more I pull it up, I have to tie it tighter and it just comes right at my throat because it is a halter. And I don't mind anything like this um, unless I have to tie it too tight. I used to wear a lot of halters and things like that. I do have a neck injury, so like with swimwear, if I do a haul on the swimwear, I plan on doing it, um, but it's kind of a collective haul because I'm kind of picky about the swimwear I wear and the styles I wear always change, but if I do do it, I will explain because part of it, part of the swimwear that I choose is really based on my neck injury and I've had surgery done on that, so I don't need anything really un a bow or knot or anything kind of putting pressure on that area of my neck. Um, but let's get back to the dress and not talk about any future haul. Um, but this is just gorgeous. So $20, this is, this is $20, just beautiful. I think this would be excellent for date night, for dinner, wear it to the beach, go out to dinner. Um, that's how I could see this, just absolutely gorgeous. Now, the fabric, I don't know if it's picking up on camera. It has a little bit of a texture. It is another polyester blend, so it is 92% polyester, and the 8% elastane, I do believe, is if I'm not mistaken. And it comes in sizes 0XL to 4XL, and of course I got my regular size 0XL. So, you know, do remember, I'm not going to label myself, and this is the first time I've stated this, I'm not going to label myself as mid-size, even though that's the size that I technically wear, because I'm only five feet tall. So, you know, if you are, say, 5'6", five, 5'10", five, even 5'2", you know, you're going to look a little bit different based on your height and even your body type in this dress and in anything that I wear. You're going to look different than I do. But if you have a similar body type, you know, just go with your regular size. And this is what it looks like. And I love it. I did get the next item I'm going to show you. I got to potentially pair with this um, for like a cool night, but I don't like the quality of it. So let me so, do it. This is the item that I got to kind of pair with this dress for, you know, like a cold evening. I do this with a lot of things. I, I love kimonos and so I will get them and they're pretty versatile for me. I will wear them with dresses. I'll wear them with shorts and things like that and not just swimwear and they could be intended for wearing over your swimwear um, but you know on the website they also market them for festival wear and I think that's what this was kind of intended for this um, lace kimono but I really just don't like the quality of this um, this lace. It's a hundred percent polyester, but this is just, I mean, it's, it's gorgeous just looking at it. Um, it's got these uh, bat wing sleeves, but my issue with it is that it's very stiff and itchy. It's itchy feeling. And I have other kimonos that are more of like a mesh feeling a material that are flowy. Not that I would wear with this dress, but I've purchased them to put with other things. So that's kind of what I was expecting this to be more like, not this very stiff, itchy um, a material. So this is definitely a no-go. This is definitely going back. Um, it's $23. It's more expensive than the dress. Um, it does come in a size 0XL to 4XL. 
And like I said, it's 100% polyester. So when you get 100% polyester, all polyesters, they're not all created equal. Um, but it does have this, you know, this kind of um, crocheted lace type trim on this. Um, but, I mean, for all appearances, it is, it's gorgeous. Um, and I think they have it on a girl and she's wearing shorts, a crop tank top, um, one of the sun hat style and this. So it's kind of more of a festival look, but either way, this, this, this one's a no for me. The next outfit I have is this kind of cropped sort of peplum blouse and these high-waisted shorts with this adorable um this adorable trim on the bottom of it um i got several items in this print i just fell in love with this print um, i thought it was absolutely gorgeous and i did not know what to get so i won't be keeping all of the items um I'll be kind of picking and choosing which ones that I want. Um, but I was pretty sure early on that I was going to keep this item. I think I will, this top and this bottom. Um, but let's talk about the top. The top is this peplum top um, with these bishop sleeves, kind of three-quarter length. This is a true three-quarter length. It comes below my elbow, though. So as we've talked about before, I have short limbs. So, you know, if you have longer arms than I do, I really don't know if this is going to come below your elbow. It's kind of got this puff trim detail and these ruffles here around the top and all around the bottom and the back. It's got the tie front. Now, what I did notice um, is that I was assuming that it would be um, opaque and a little bit more closed at the top because that's kind of what it looked like on the model. And I did order a 1XL in this top and it's still very much, I almost could not get the ties closed right here. So I do recommend you sizing up. It comes in a 0XL to a 4XL and like I said, I did size up in the top. Now the top is also very sheer. So it's a sheer polyester. So it is 100% polyester, but it's one of those sheer tops. So like I said, I thought it was gonna be opaque and not quite as sheer as it is. And I have another item or two that is quite sheer that I, I was not expecting. And there's a top that I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. Um, I don't think I am, but I haven't tried it on yet. Um, so let's talk about the price of this top. It is $16 um, on Shein. Now on to these shorts, they are a blend of 92% polyester and um, 8% elastane. So I thought that the top itself was going to look more like the bottoms. So it was going to, but I do love it sheer. I really do. I do love the top. Um, now it has a, the shorts have a tie front. And so I was finding that they're high waisted. So I was finding it looked kind of awkward. And so if you can see right here, I just took and I tied the tie from the shorts and the tie from the blouse all together as one. So it looks like one bow because I didn't know what to do with it. I tucked the um, bow into the shorts to avoid having a tie there all together. And that looked weird. And the two separate because, you know, I'm a short. It, that looked weird, so it looks much better and much more cohesive um, tied together like I have it. Um, the shorts come in 0XL to 4XL. If I didn't state that, I may have. And they are $12 on the Shein website. But I absolutely love this print, and I'm going to be showing you some more items that are in this 
collection. I really hope that I am not moving too much because I noticed that this mic, I kind of have it tucked away because I didn't want it to be so obvious and that might be the problem. Um, but I did notice some like crinkling and things like that. Um, but yeah, I really love this outfit. I love the print on this outfit. Another one of the blouse options that I picked up to potentially go with this pair of shorts is this t-shirt. And I almost really like this look better than the previous top with these shorts. Now, my opinion on the previous top is it is gorgeous. Um, it might just not be the best to go with these shorts. It might need to be paired with something else, but I absolutely love the last blouse and I do like this tee. It's very comfortable. Um, I did pick it up in a 0XL. It comes in size 0XL to 4XL. It is 91% polyester and 9% elastane. It said is it, it is a regular fit, so it's not a slim fit tee. Not like in my last haul, I had the um, the black butterfly blouse with a black butterfly applique skirt. And that blouse was a very, very um, fitted and very stretchy. So this one is not like that, but it does have a little bit of stretch to it. You can hear my cat playing with some bells. Um, but I really do, I like this option better than I, the last option, I think, um, with the shorts. Um, let me know your opinion in the comments below which top you like with these shorts. Now, as far as pricing goes, it is only $9. So it is, you know, about 45% um, less than the last top. However, I still think I'm going to keep the last top anyway. I, it's just gorgeous. This print is just gorgeous. It, it blew me away. So these are the two options for this pair of high-waisted shorts. Let's talk about this dress. I'm absolutely in love with this dress in this kind of postage stamp, tropical vacation print. Love it. It has these gorgeous like butterfly short sleeves. So it's nice and flowy. Um, it has a belt that goes around the waist. The waist is actually elastic, um, but this is so cute. And then to get a little closer, you can see the neck of this has this beautiful detail and it does have a little button with elastic at the back and they provide you with an extra button. So it's just a little plastic button. Um, a lot of dresses and things will have, you know, a button covered in the same fabric, but for the price, that is okay. So let's talk about the price. It's only $18. Yes, $18 for this dress. Um, I think that's a steal, especially being that you can use a code for a percentage off and you can get anywhere from 10 to 25% off at Shein, depending upon which code you use, how much you're ordering at the same time. I mean, 25% off this dress? I, I think, yes, absolutely. Um, so sizing, and this dress comes in a 0XL to 4XL, and I did purchase my regular 0XL size. And as far as what material it is made out of, it is made of 92% um, polyester and the 8% elastane blend, like a lot of this is. So, you know, a lot of this print is going to be made out of the exact same material, but <laughs> I'm ready for vacation in this dress. I just, yes, I can see this at a resort. This is the very last item that I purchased in this collection. And let me tell you, I thought I was going to have an easy time deciding what items to keep 
out of this collection, but I'm finding that I like them all. So it's really hard and I might wind up keeping all of the pieces. Um, but this um, is a kimono, a belted kimono. And it is just, it's got this fringe detail. It is so pretty. I just went ahead and put it on over top of the dress that I had on, but this would be more for over top of your swimwear. And the material is the exact same, 92% um, polyester, 8% elastane blend. Um, so it is a really, really good quality fabric, in my opinion, for um, being a kimono. And both the dress, and I didn't point this out when I tried on the dress, and the kimono have just the little string here on the side that holds your belt up. So you're, you can just kind of put it through there. You won't lose the belt and your belt won't slide, you know, too far up or down. Um, but I just love this and I really appreciate this really wide hem detail here as well but I love the way it kind of comes up, kind of almost in that tulip shape, and it doesn't doesn't really, well, it almost does. It doesn't really completely close, so there is a little bit exposed. Um, and on me, it's three-quarter length, um, but it is so pretty. Now, this kimono is more expensive than the actual dress um, at $21. Um, but I don't know what else to say. I really do love it too. Um, and again, it comes in the sizes 0XL to 4XL and I got a 0XL. So I don't know. I might be over the top like I am normally and I might have to keep all of the pieces. I love this print so much. I know that you've seen a lot of it and you're like, Choose something Next else. up, I have this romper with this gorgeous um, tropical print with the houses at the bottom of the legs. And I thought that I was going to need to hem this, but I don't think I'm going to need a hem on this if I wear something like these wedges. Now, I'm going back and forth on whether this is going to work for me or not. Um, I think that I could put a few tweaks on it. Um, my issue is, is what's looking like extra, you know, fabric going on right here. Um, this doesn't move at all, and it really wouldn't need to be tightened up or anything um, anyway because it's just right here at my neck but it's just this extra fabric. And I feel like maybe potentially I don't have the correct type of support on for my um, boob area. I did just put on some like pasties, so I don't have a bra on or anything. So I feel like maybe if I did some type of halter bralette or something like that, then that might make the difference with this bit of fabric I've got going on right here. Um, so let's talk about it. Um, the print is just, I just fell in love with the print. Um, they do have dresses in this same print. There's a dress. I just really love to wear like a, a romper style. Um, it just makes it so easy for me and I feel really comfortable, um, running around in a romper, whether it's shorts or pants. Now, this romper has fabric loops on each side to hold the belt in place. It does have an elastic um, at the waist, just under the bust. This is open here, and it just has the, um, it just has a button right here at the back. And so you can see this is entirely open um down at the back so i think that's a, a gorgeous a gorgeous detail for this in addition to the print just 
calling my name, calling my name, like the, like the postage stamp print like that. Um, but I think this is gorgeous. Um, let's talk about pricing. It is a little more pricey than the other pieces at $31. Um, it comes in a size 0XL to 4XL, and again, I got a size 0XL. The material blend is the 92% polyester, 8% elastane blend that a lot of the other items that I picked up are made out of. really like this. I'm just going to have to figure out how to deal with this extra looking fabric. And like I said, it might just be a matter of wearing the appropriate um, under garment underneath this. But I think this will be perfect. I can see this, you know, I can see this for dinner night on a summer dinner. I think I covered all my bases on this and I'm really, really liking it. Um, We'll see what it looks like. I'll, I'll see what it looks like when I edit my footage. And I hope that my mic is working and there's not too much. I've noticed a little bit of crumpling, but then I noticed I filmed a few clips and I think it shut off or I shut it off by accident. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really trying to work on that. So. Um, just please forgive me if there are clips where I'm reviewing something and it's kind of muffled like it was before. I think it is very important for me to share my fails and the items that really um, didn't work for me. And when I first saw this, um, I knew that it probably wasn't going to work. Um, but for one reason and then it, it's kind of since putting it on just kind of stacked on top of that one reason and the number one reason was that when I saw the material that it was made out of it is this very sheer um, see-through material it's a hundred percent polyester but you can see through it um, it does have these gorgeous sleeves with the puff detail and the um, little um, elastic here at the wrists so that is really pretty um, I could see this worn with you know some white shorts and that might be what they paired it with on the website I'm not really sure I can't remember um, but on top of not liking the material when I noticed that it was see-through um, I paired it with a blue bra, which you can see poking out the bottom here. And I did size up. I sized up to a 1XL because it's cropped so that I would have extra room. Um, but I've got, you know, boobage or my bra kind of peeking out the bottom here. And I just don't feel that I didn't even tie this. This goes and it ties around your back um, because you can see, is that my bra? Yes. Um, because you can see here, you can actually see my bra below the shirt because it's kind of backless. So you can see all the bottom parts of my bra and you can also see through the blouse but let's get back to the um the material um my first impressions were a you could see through it and b the material looks like a nightgown it looked like a you know something a little girl used to wear not necessarily a nightgown i i that they have now, but kind of like back in the 80s or maybe 70s, I don't know, you know, that polyester nightgown with these stripes. That's what this reminded me of. I, I expected it to be a little bit different than what it was when I saw it online. Again, I didn't expect it to be see-through. Um, I did expect that 
maybe it would work, maybe it wouldn't since it's cropped. Um, but yeah, um, so let's talk about sizing. Um, you know, you might not have an issue it being see-through and you might just really love it. And this might be for you and you might not have this problem going on right here that I do. So sizing and price. It comes in a size 0XL to 4XL. I sized up and got a 1XL. Um, it's only $13. So that's pretty much the plus side of this. And that's the number one best thing about this blouse, but I'm not going to be keeping this blouse. I am going to be sending this back. But I thought it only fair um, to show y'all and let y'all know my thoughts on the fabrics and things like that. I didn't want to just show y'all everything that I got that I was keeping that's great, that I love. Um, that's part of me sharing because that's what I look for when I'm watching um, fashion bloggers online. I'm looking to see what their thoughts are, you know, what it looks like on them. Um, all those different types of things, you know, and so, yeah, this is probably the biggest, biggest fail of this haul. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified the next time I upload a new video. And give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps my channel to grow. Y'all have a beautiful and blessed day and I'll see you in the next one.